Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanical PE Exam Prep. If you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the basics down before solving lots of problems, take my Udemy course, HVAC and Refrigeration Fundamentals. In less than five hours, you'll review all the major topics you need for the PE exam. By the end, you'll actually be excited to start studying. And now circling all the way back to our original equation, total moisture loss equals latent occupant load plus humidification. We now know the occupant load, we know the total moisture loss. Let's rearrange this and subtract total minus occupant to find the humidification. And I'll write that rearranged down below. The mass flow rate of the humidification system equals the mass flow rate total minus the mass flow rate of the occupants. So that's 23.8 pounds per hour minus 6.67 pounds per hour, which equals 17.1 pounds per hour. And that's the answer to part A. And just to put that in perspective, that's about a pint of water every three and a half minutes. Because a pint weighs about a pound. You can remember that as a rule of thumb. So this is about 17 pints over the course of an hour, so it's one pint every three and a half minutes, if you can believe that. That's how much water vapor has to be produced by the humidification system to make up for most of what's being lost to the outside. And then in the second part, they wanted us to determine if any condensation will form on the inside of the glass. So let's consider that. That's really going to depend on the dew point, right? So you have these inside conditions and some outside conditions. Inside, we know it's 75 degrees with a relative humidity of 40%. And we can look up the dew point on the psychrometric chart by going straight to the left. So the dew point temperature turns out to be 49.1 degrees. And now outside, let's draw a little line. This is our glass window. Outside, we have a temperature of 25 degrees. So then the question becomes, what's going to be the inside surface temperature on that window? Well, the window has some insulating properties. It's not completely conductive. It's not a piece of metal, so we shouldn't assume that it's going to be 25 degrees. But we have been told in the problem that it's a single layer, so it's probably not that good of an insulator. And we have a huge delta T of 24 degrees difference between the inside dew point and the temperature outside. So you have to ask yourself, do you think that the temperature on the inside surface of this window is going to be more than 49 degrees? What is that surface temperature? I'm going to bet with that big delta T that it's less than the dew point. Surface temperature is less than inside dew point temperature. Therefore, yes, condensation will form. And that is answer B. If it was a bit closer, then I'd want to drill down more on the properties of this window and maybe do a little deep dive heat transfer analysis based on the thickness and some film coefficients and whatnot. But I think for a 24 degree delta, it's pretty clear condensation is going to form.